Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back for more Age of Wonders 4 action. We are on the Dragon Dawn DLC campaign with Idhwai Goch. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, the Red Dragon, basically known as the Welsh Dragon. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, he is here, he is awesome, and he is going to take over the world. Now, when we left off last time, we had just killed the Dragon Hunter, if I remember correctly, and we were kind of watching these guys become a bit friendly with my cities. Now, unfortunately, if you watched the end of the last episode and you are tuning in now, there will be a small jump of about a turn. I did start recording, but I forgot to change my recording window to this game, so unfortunately I was just talking to a black screen. Not that entertaining in the long run. I do apologize for that. Luckily, it only went on for one turn before I realized I had a was recording a black screen. And so we didn't miss much, basically. He's like... Ah, uh, yes, he's hidden behind this dude. He basically walked down there. I moved my scouts around, and I built a couple of things. And these guys came a little bit closer. Now, I was just checking... Let's jump into diplomacy. Declare one that this will change the diplomatic state to war, and you suffer alignment and relation penalties with other rulers and cities. So they could technically come and declare war on me, but they do not have any justification whatsoever. Maybe they're hoping that I will declare war on them. We'll see. They're ranked six out of nine in terms of military. I am slowly trying to build up my military. I don't have a huge amount of gold, unfortunately, but we will see what we can do. I am trying to increase the number of gold buildings I have to improve that. So let's just continue. Yeah, I don't really want to trespass, so let's turn around. Oh, hello. How are you doing? Let's continue. You were, I believe, just getting rid of some fog of war. Oh, another underground passage. Let's hit that tower. See what we can see. You are going to... start coming back down this way quite frankly as I have a city that might need defending you were I cannot remember what you were doing did I not get that before I did not aha another astral what are they called astral echoes another astral echo to grab you were again. Aha, we have another tower. Let's just go and jump into that. Let's keep going this way. See what we can find. And our last guy was, I believe, doesn't look like we have any towers. Is in wizard mage towers over this way. Let's just keep exploring. We have a very large map on this one. Wordgate produced a shipyard. We didn't seem to get any extra gold from that, to be honest. It should have given us 10 more gold, but I feel like we were on plus 86 last time. So, I don't know where that other 10 gold went. But it went somewhere. Plus 15 food income. Very tempting. Very tempting indeed. The mint, I think, is going to take too long. The Masonic Hall is a little bit too expensive. We are going to throw down. I think the blacksmith might be in order. Spells are ready to cast. In other words, I have enough. No, uh, magical wards. I currently have that already on me. That's why it says there's nothing ready to cast. Okay. Ruler Alipava Destroyer has returned to Altar of Destruction. He is back out of the void. And I have received a trade proposal. They want a defensive pact. A diplomatic state in which the rulers vow to come to each other's aid in defensive wars. Oh, yes. Fantastic. It's a deal. He is... K 
Okay, so he is with the Destroyer, I believe. Yes. And the Forge Father. So this guy, these two guys are allies along with this guy. Oh, there you go. So it's pretty much north against south. That's going to make it easier to remember. And I'm now in a defensive alliance. So if you want to uh, start a fight, you go right ahead. You go right ahead. Let's hit that end turn button and see what they do. I think it's time to turn around now. Oh, no, they're still... Oh, if you want to get rid of that guy as well, that's... Sure. You carry on. I mean, he was actually just hoarding some food, I think. And as I know, I've been saying quite a lot of my videos recently... Ladies and gentlemen, and I do apologize for sounding like a broken record, but if you are enjoying the series and you would like it to continue and want to see more of my content, please do hit that thumbs up and subscribe button. It lets me know you're enjoying the content and it massively helps out with the video and so therefore my channel. And if you'd really, really like to help out, feel free to put something in the comments below. Let me know what you think of the series so far. Let me know what maybe some hints or tips or you know so anything you'd like to see me attempt to do any future races any future types of play i do of course have two age of wonders for series going at the same time so if you haven't seen my other one feel free to jump over and watch that as well and of course everything you do put down i am always massively massively appreciative of so that being said let's get back to the game dragon lord Goch, i urgently request an audience your heroine, Runa the Encouraging, visits you with a concerned look in her eyes. Our defense is lacking. I honestly serve your ambitions. For you, I venture into the wilderness or invade your rival's territories, Runa kneels. But now that I've started a family, my priorities have shifted. These days, my mind lingers with my family inside your borders. I've witnessed the ferocity of our enemy's forces. Our realm's protectors cannot withstand them. We need powerful reinforcements. Runa the Encouraging frowns. I can manufacture golems, defenders of our homelands. However, building them requires some forge firestone. Could you secure that? You accept this quest. The reward is a unit and a mysterious bonus. We need encouragement will be dismissed from your service. Receive 214 draft. I am going to accept it. I need to get some forge firestone. Some forge fire stone. Okay, I need to clear off these fire dragons and associates. I am gonna. Send you back in this direction. Movement's so bad. So, so bad. Why? Who's it due to? These guys. Movement's just 30. Ah, quite a few. Just 32. Just, I don't know. Movement over this terrain seems to just take so much. We're going to get you into this territory, basically, and get you healed. Once I've got you healed, we'll uh, go and hit the fire drone. Orders required. We're coming back this way. Ooh, oh, right. We're going to jump onto this, if I remember. Yes. Where are we? Ah, right in the middle. Just down here. Let's just shoot straight across. Did really reveal anything because we'd already hit the tower. You, uh, yes, I believe I was. Get you to sneak and grab that. Oh, I was supposed to get the. Never mind. I was supposed to get the tower, but probably wouldn't really see much more than I already can. Let's come down and see what's down here. Uh, please? Thank you. What is that? Oh, it's just a chasm. Okay. <laughs> okay. And... Oh, another wizard's tower. We'll pop around and see that next time. You were going... I'm going to continue. I'm going to bring you actually out to here. Yeah, and then we'll shoot you back up this way next turn. Fulmination. 
Enemy units in a one hex radius sustain 15 lightning damage and have a 60% chance of becoming electrified. Ooh, we get to pick a new tome. Now, let me just double check. I believe, yes, we were going for the good old mystic stuff on this one. I also do believe, however, which I very much want to get. Oh, which I don't seem to be able to. There was, of course, Tomes of the Dragon. Now, these come in, I believe they were possibly in the nature area. Tome of Evolution. That would be the one. Tome of Dragons. Doesn't need any affinity, just needs two. Firebomb. Have the negative status effects move. Draconic transformation. Major. Well, that's definitely what we're going for, let's be honest. Dragon attack. Young dragon. I can summon a young dragon. Does he by any chance? He does evolve into a fire dragon. Absolutely fan Davidozzi. I'm assuming he doesn't. No, he doesn't uh, evolve, but that's fine. So we will get that. I am at this point going to get the Tome of Evolution. Because if I get these guys, basically, and this is something I love about games like this, and so this is something I'm very happy has been involved. Basically, they can evolve into better units. Because I think, to be honest, the experience and so the upgrading of units on this in terms of rank is a little bit lackluster, if I'm perfectly honest, in my own opinion. But when things like this come along, it makes me very, very happy. Yep, so basically you can turn your level 1 units into a level 3 unit. Because, to be honest with you, a legendary tier 1 unit can pretty much be straight away outranked by a recruit tier 2 unit. So, you know, it's, it's kind of a bit of a bit of a bummer for me. Resurgence, if they are tier 1 or tier 2, making them come back. And yes, we want to grab that as well. Units that evolve, there are two in my armies. Hmm, I wonder what they are off the top of my head. But So we're going to go ahead and get this tome, quite frankly. And so I want the to start of evolution very is much. Is this a summon? Take the lowly nope, Slithat, it is a recruit. Whose pathetic form can barely That's a summon. Even the kindest environment. Yet, when thrown into the fray, mm. this creature adapts and changes into something more. Claim this power. We're going to get the young Slither up. Maybe we will get the reduced. Oh, oh, what's going on? Join us in our war. Together we shall crush the pathetic Radiant Host. He's calling for your aid in a war against some kind of the Radiant. Except a call gives you plus five to use against Sankavar directly. Declining will give 12 against you, making your relations with her suffer. Expects a response within two turns. You share a defensive pact, but they are not fighting a defensive war, so the pact will not be broken, and there are no additional penalties if you decline. Relations with non-allied rulers, minus 50 for 20 turns, because there is not much of a war justification. Empire relations with the Collector goes up by 150. Your allies, our forces, are just about equally matched. I don't think so. He will destroy me. I will decide later. We shall keep... We shall keep everybody as happy as possible for now. Other rulers made a defensive pact. Ah, they've made a defensive pact. Fair enough. These two alliance and share vision. Good to know. I wonder if... So, I believe, yes, I am defensive alliance with the south. Can I, by any chance, get a defensive alliance with anyone from the north? Now, Shiny, I believe I was very good friends with you and Disciples of the Go Grove Tender as well. Uh, much better than I am with these guys, to be honest. So let's pop to Diplomacy. Negotiate. 
you want 326 gold. That's not going to happen, my friend. How about you? It's a deal. Done. Right, so I now have a defensive alliance with one person from each side. Bye. Answer called to war against Sonkva. We don't want to do that. You'll also give me a defensive. That's one more for the south. Uh, you... Now you're still asking for the gold. That's fair enough. The other one in the north is, I believe, you. Oh, no, wait. So, sorry. Another one in the north will give me an alliance. You will, but for 149, you probably won't because you still hate me too much. It's minus 360. It is... Yeah, just not great. Declaration of Friendship, plus 90. I have a declaration. I do. Would you look at that. It's going to go up to a plus 400. So, yeah, we'll get there. We'll get there. Goodbye. Okay, so we're a defensive alliance. One north, one south. One good, one bad. We have been invaded. He is once again trespassing. Let's hit that end turn button. And let's see what happens in the interim. Oh, I do have a time limit for this. Fair enough. I didn't realize it came with a time limit. That's all right. 25 turns. Although it's going to take me a ridiculous number of turns just to walk over there. Everybody's moving. Why are we all moving? Stop it. Oh, that changed. Orders are required. Let's get a little bit closer to the mountains, maybe. See anything that I haven't seen. You are... I'm going to come this way. You are going to grab that. And then run away. I probably should have run away south. Where am I going? You are... Got to see how fantastic all the enemies look down in this direction. And then turn around. You were going to a wizard tower. Very nice. And if I... Yep. I will jump down into the underground passage. Which I might just do here as well. Hmm. Pretty. Slither Hatchling has been researched. Fortunately, the other one has not come up. We are going to have rapid evolution enchanting, though. That is something that we definitely want. I need to set production in my new city. We shall go for Evocator's Abode. I, we don't have any money. Sage Haven can annex another province. We are going to go for... I'm going to start moving in this direction, quite frankly. Get another farm, because we have gold vein and an iron deposit right here. So we're going to push up that way and grab those two. Obscurum has been founded. I have a hero offering to join, but I am too damn poor. Empire skill is available. Oh, wow. I've got quite a few. Unlock the ability for your army to use forced march. Your units and cities gain plus three sensing range. Immediately summons three tier one units. That's not bad. City cap increases. Units can build roads. How much Imperium do I have? Three, three, three. So it's not bad. Founding or absorbing cities takes minus two turns. Newly found or absorbed cities gain plus one population. City structures cost minus 20% gold to build. Very much so. 
I am definitely struggling with a bit of gold right now. Spells can now be cast in the foot. I think I might get that as well. It will be very helpful because obviously my guys get Starblade, if I remember the name off the top of my head. So if I can cast from... Although I say that, I'm never actually in combat on the first, uh, the first round, so... I am in fact going to get Astral Inspiration. So that will reduce me down to 25. will be another 5 turns till I can get 100 mana. That's fine. Basically, I want to get a nice bit of mana so I can start pumping out the Woven Hatchlings, if I remember what they were called already. I will double check. Do I want this? Yes, I do. To increase my research speed. Oh, wait, we're all the way up here? I didn't realize this. Oh, I just couldn't afford any of them. Gain knowledge whenever a unit gains rank. First turn of combat. Immediately summons an army of magic orange units with low maintenance at your throne city. Hopefully free maintenance if I'm ever going to afford them. That would be quite nice. Your throne city gains 15 knowledge for each magic material your empire has access to. Immediately conjure a defended magic material near each city. Oh. Wait, defended, I assume, means occupied? I can only guess. Armies are restored to full hit points and gain 50% of the move points. New magic origin units gain plus three ranks. Oh, that's not bad. That is not bad at all. Show Tome Library. So what I was basically talking about and what I'm after is, yes, the Woven Fledgling. That's the one. So basically when I get those, because it's a summon spell, I just I want to be able to pump out several of them. So I can start running them around and leveling them up, because as soon as they hit champion, basically, they will evolve, which is fantastic. Answer a call to war. Expects an answer within one turn. We'll decide later. Yeah. Let's just put that off as long as possible. Answer a call to war. Call to war. Ah, this guy wants me to decide later. <laughs> Other rulers declare friendship. That's lovely. Other rulers made a defensive act. That is not lovely. Message received. I'm pleased to see we share a friend in Alipava the Destroyer. Oh, good. Did that particularly... Oh, no, but we're down to our minus three, four, five. And... Yeah, you're still wanting gold for that. What are the other treaties? No, doing any of those. Goodbye, good sir. My domain has been invaded several times. Over. Ah, and there's bad, bad people in the world. Who would have thought there are bad, bad people in the world and they may want to kill me? Now, these guys, I feel, are about to come down and have a go. We're, uh, we're a few people short of, short of an army. Let's... Oh, I want to bring them down, but I'm also scared that they will intercept me, basically. So the hatchling. Nice and cheap. Let's grab... Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's not grab two of them. Calm yourself down. Let's grab one of them. Let's hit that end turn button. Yes, you guys move. Although you could have taken out some of these guys before you left. Actually done something useful. Right, well, let's... <laughs> let's get to the end of... I think there might be a siege going on. I I just don't know. Fox Sebas, the Forge Father. Oh, no. I, why do I feel like they were possibly chasing these guys? <laughs> Makes me very happy, so. And Ero the Cold Blooded has built a Seed of Shadow. Oh. Boz Zorkin the Arcanist has built a Siege of Astral. Interesting. 
Interesting indeed. Assume that is, yep, still just kind of outside of his uh, range. Path required. Inspect. What is. Ah, oh, does he have. Ah, seven. Ah, oh, you can definitely stay. You just cost me some magic. We see army of Marauder Guards. You are back down to here, basically. Oh, we're out of movement. Fair enough. You're gonna jump into the underground very quickly. Have a quick look. Looks as pretty as ever. Let's jump back up. And you are going to a slag smelter forge. You can move to there, basically. Look in again, look out, and then keep moving back to the home city. Orders required from yourself. Did I look underground? I did not. Well, we're out of movement, so we can't look underground. That's fine. Let's just float away. Orders are required. Hmm. Did I look on the ground? No, I did not. Huh. <laughs> there are horrible people down there. Let's leave. And the last one. Ah, the Seat of Shadow. So here you go. We've got, we've got little bits turning up here and there. I'm actually going to send you along underground. Oh, my desecrated temple. Sage Haven has produced a shipyard. We would like you to increase everything. You're not very... Oh, you're neutral. That's fine. That's fine. I'll take neutral. We will grab a town hall level 2. That will allow us to get a tavern. Answer the call to war. Response within zero turns. Decline. Answer the call to war. Relations with non-allied rulers. Asks, I have no justification. I will decide later. If friendship with me was declared. Oh, good. Is that once again? Does that help this? Nope. Well, that might help him. I declined a call to war. I did. You are correct. An evil presence lingers in these lands. That in turn button once more. And see what happens. Now, unfortunately. Okay, they're back. Oh, are they going to take him out? I can live with that. No, he's just going to stand there. Uh, now, unfortunately, there's not been too much happening in this. Uh, this episode. We do have a little bit of time left. I hopefully will at least get a fight in there. But uh, yeah, I mean, the turns do take a little bit of time, to be fair. Go on, attack him. Attack him. Attack him. Attack him. Are you joking? You're all just running around my land. Why can't you kill each other? Okay, we have a Seed of Shadow. And let's keep... You can just keep going on your... Cancel. Okay, can we kind of try that one again? I don't think I'm trespassing that time. You, yep, you were going to come back up to here would be move one and then across to there. You are going to get in healing so you can actually regain some health. Should get 25 a turn, so I'll stay there for a couple of turns. You, I believe, we're going to say hello. Ooh, free stuff. Production stash. Very nice. You are simply going to come across, I think. Uh, yep, just keep exploring. You, we're coming down. 
Oh wait, had I been underground? Yes, I had. There were scary things, so I ran away. You were coming across. I don't know. Hopefully there'll be another underground thing here. Orders are required. You still sit there for a turn. Word gate can annex another province. Now what do we have around us? Is there any particular direction I want to go in? I kind of want to steal that forester because... They've claimed this province. I assume I've claimed it as well though. So I assume if they do it to me, we can't negotiate because the well, declaration of rivalry, quite frankly. Wow, look at him. He looks... I don't know, I like it. He looks impressive. He's like a kind of ghostly... Oh, it's because he's in the void. <laughs> yeah, that'd be why. That, 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 that'd be why. He's, um, he's, he's dead. <laughs> so, <laughs> as I was doing... We're not going to go that way. I'd probably start coming this way. Yep, let's build another quarry. Wordgate produced a blacksmith. Very nice. I assume that will very much help my draft. Yep. And then... Then, 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 then. Anything that's boosted. Yeah, library. Oh, mana obelisk. Oh, very much so. Especially if I'm going to start summoning mana units. Slither Hatchling will take one turn. Fantastic. Let's get one of those in. Really uh, pushing that amount of blood. Oh, yeah. So someone's in the void. That's fair enough. Answer the call to war. Whoops. Decline. Bye. Message received. Nope, not paying you for it, my friend. I declined a call to war. I did. Negotiate. Contact information, Ashen Fey Ruler. Okay. I assume that would probably show me their capital. I'm really surprised they haven't found yet. Maybe it's maybe it's underground somewhere. Maine has been invaded many times over because these guys just keep running around in it and just yeah. Half chasing each other, half not chasing each other. Like, if you're gonna run around in my territory. Kill something for me. Be useful. Oh, well, they finally left. Let's see if anybody else does anything else. Altar of the All Seers grants bonus income depending on the amount of astral echoes collected. We'll see if I can build that item. That item, that building. And see if that's even possible, quite frankly. Oh, you changed into nothing. You just burnt down again. That was a bit stupid. Fires came up and it, it changed into nothing. What special buildings? Oh, we have a channeling tower. Possibly mana per adjacent conduit. Yeah, we're not really a conduit kind of uh, city down here, unfortunately. Or a mystic abbey. Cancels a conduit, possibly knowledge per adjacent conduit. Fair enough. Okay, we are getting a few more units. It's fantastic. Now, ah, isn't he just the cutest? Look at him, he's got like, it looks like he's got a piece of egg on his head still. Ah, don't you just want to take him home? Orders are required. Can you just simply go where you are told? Yes, you can. So what I might try and do is basically my hero. That's all right, you'd be the one. Was basically coming back this way. I might try and basically give him a fully evolvable army, which I've got one there. I've got. Would that be more fun to have with. No, I won't. I have. If anyone, you, I would think. Yes, evolves into a tide spirit. So I have one here. Currently elite. Oh, one more rank. So no, I'll keep that on. I'll keep that on Ethwai because that's he's about to rank up. 
So yeah, we've got one there. We've got the Inferno Pup up north. We've got a second here. And we'll start throwing in a couple of Woivens, basically. You can grab some draft. And this could end up being a dead end, but we'll find out. You can do it if you really want. You didn't gain any. Minus three resistance for gains. This unit cannot regenerate. What if I come and stand in my city? This unit is in a province affected by volcanic activity and subject to the following. Huh. Really? That's highly annoying. Well, we want to... Yeah, we definitely want this one and we want to... Let's say a farm, to be honest. Um. Okay, yep, everybody else decided not to join in on that one. Thank you. <laughs> hmm. You have volcanic heat. Not. You do not. Let's come into this one. Still volcanic heat. Okay then. I will have to double check the rules on that one. Because I really do need him to replenish. Whoops. So you come just stand where you are. Ooh, very nice. Quite frankly. Orders required. You were running away in absolute glorious fashion. You were running this way in absolute glorious fashion. Yep, we'll pop out underneath from that underground. All right, whoa. <laughs> Calm down with your attacking, will you? I mean, 497? Uh, how about now? Ooh. Not under the influence of Draconic Heat. Hmm, yeah, I'll have to double check these. So he, he's going to heal a tiny amount, but not really much. His unit will also heal a tiny amount. Um, so yeah, we're going to... Well, we'll heal for at least one more turn. Maybe next turn, we'll just have to push in. And see what happens, maybe? Okay, well, we made a Town Hall level 2. We really don't have that much gold. And we are going to throw down... It's going to take a lot of turns, but... We need the gold, quite frankly. Spells ready to cast. Yes, all of my spells are ready to cast. You are correct. He has a tier 1 recruit. Okay, we're not going to summon him. Received a trade proposal. You wish for a defensive pact. Okay, it's a deal. So that's two from the north. Will you give me... No, I'm not paying you, my friend. I am not paying you. Another ruler was denounced. I know the cold-blooded crossed you. <gasps> How could she? Let's... We have... Leads to Alliance Shared Vision. When a war is declared on either ruler, they will jump in. Okay. Okay, then. We have those treaties. Cancel. Cannot propose. It is too soon. Negotiate. Too soon. Oh, he will take an alliance. These are the strongest possible relations one can have. Both rulers need to agree to a defensive pact first. Alliances. The strongest bond two players can share. Whilst in alliance, allied victories are possible when enabled, and players are automatically called for aid in wars. So I think that means I technically plunge into their war. So I kind of need to declare all six alliances at the same time if this is what I wish to do. So I kind of do. 
how fair our treaties and trade deals. Perhaps we can improve them. Well, I try this and you want money off me, so no. Quite frankly, just no. <laughs> it's it's just that simple. Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye, good sir. Your domain has been here since always been invaded. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that is all we have time for on this episode. Unfortunately, not a lot of happened. But I believe we are slowly increasing. We are definitely gearing ourselves up. We're going to have a fight here in a turn or two. Hopefully we can maybe jump inside and get at least one turn of home territory replenishment. We are, yep, trying to basically stack up our gold. Which, we there is one of these to get thousand gold, basically. Where are we? Special problems improvements grant. No, no. Oh, it's a long way away. Oh, 2,000 gold. But it is a long way away. It'll take 37 turns. So it looks like we might be leaning into magic a bit more first. But until then... Yeah, we're slowly improving. We're getting there. Our armies are appearing... Uh, gold, just about keeping balance. Unit upkeep. I mean, a question is that's worth asking. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Did he go underground? No, he's... He's here somewhere. Ah, found him. What is your upkeep? Eight gold. So maybe I get rid of a couple of these. I mean, it's only an extra 16 gold, but when you're this low on gold, every, every little bit counts. Disband the unit. I mean, where are we? You're down in... The yeah, do you know what? I'm just going to go ahead and do it before we finish. Whilst I remember. Let's disband you. Yep. And let's disband... We've got one here. We've got one over here. Somewhere. Underground. <laughs> and we have got is that it maybe maybe three of them yeah so we'll get rid of one for now i mean it gives us a little bit more a little bit more mana as well which i'm going to be tapping into i think fairly heavily at some point soon now of course our declarations are also diplomacy costing a declaration of friendship cost 10 gold upkeep gets up to a plus 400 Pronouncements. This also breaks the opposing ruler's declaration of friendship if they have one. Any gains in relations from declaration will be lost. I mean, because I kind of need my declaration against you. Oh, the wow, that jumped down by grievances. Oh, they fabricated a grievance. I wonder if somebody's trying to come to war against me. They are only one rank above me, but their military is several ranks above me. Hmm. My economy is seven. As is five, as is their military. So yeah, they're doing a bit better. Their magic is, is what's making them lose, but I don't think they're very magic kind of people. I think they're a very come and kick you in the face kind of people. Okay. Okay. The problem is, if he declares war on me, he's in an alliance with the guy that I have a defensive pact with. He's already at war with the people that other people I have defensive pact with, so I wonder what would happen with that. There you go, he is fabricating claims on me. But as I said, ladies and gentlemen, with those final little bits of admin done, that is the end of the episode. I hope you've all enjoyed it. Like I said, not the most action packed episode, but I believe we are building ourselves up ready to start pushing forward we're about to start getting evolving units we're about to start getting an evolving army and we are about to start pushing forward into all of the enemies i can find so until next time ladies and gentlemen i hope you have enjoyed it and always remember stay safe stay happy and stay healthy i've been world Reich, and i'll catch you in the next episode